Hi, uh, today I'm gonna talk about succulents. Na ako dili sa akong mini garden kay gamay lang among space. So I my husband gave me a small space at the side of our house. That's my daughter adding. <laughs> it's our bathroom. Uh, it's on the side so na diri ako ang mga tanom na succulents. How did I start this hobby or um, collection? I think I'm already pregnant four months or five months. I'm not so sure, but uh, we were at Home Depot. I think, yeah, I think we were in Home Depot to buy some materials for my husband. Kay na siya maragbuhat on sa balay kay we are continuously repairing his our house. Um, so I saw this a uh, little bit. Dili na siya kaya pretty, but. Um, these are really my two first succulents that I bought from Home Depot. Um, this one too, wala na siya flower. Medyo nagastadi pa ko ato nga time. Paano siya alagaan. Ang problem diri, ang struggle na, na ko diri sa, sa ano ang lugar, in succulent growing is very insects. Yung mouth, uh, aggressive kay lang mouth diri. So the more nga uh, soft and fleshy ang leaves the more ginakaon nila ang, ang succulent so I have to spray I have no choice or else mahurot ilang dahon so the, my first two succulents are really struggling kay ginakaon nila ang dahon sa caterpillar certain caterpillar it's not from butterfly but I, re, uh, I noticed they are smaller so I think they are mouth that's what they call it so um my, my succulents are here some are in the front so um, there these are litops my litops they are my original litops and uh, these are just additional this is uh, they call bear claw this one looks like Kamutsa bear. It's bearing flowers now. This is a variegated succulent. That means variegated means two colors. This one. Okay, so these are my aloes. They call it aloes because they're family of aloe vera. Still belong to the family of succulent. Um, they have different colors. So I'm still also uh, collecting them for now. I have like some of them uh these are my chocolate soldier um yeah i forgot some of their names and then excuse me at the adding and then um yeah some of them have lost their colors now because pa winter na so nang, they need sun so that they could retain the color and it's very challenging as of now but um yeah these are my um string of pearls when I buy them they're very tiny now they're starting to crawl down and then um, these are they call chicks and hens because they usually have babies like this like that and they they call it like ah no it's a hen and chicks I think <laughs> because it's the other way around okay daghan siya anak so uh, there are different colors for this I just started um collecting them there uh, but uh, they're a little bit difficult to find here I usually order online and then some of them are this one are free they were just given to me and then of course this are string of bananas because they look like bananas and then that's the sleeping old man um sa kong banay nga na daw siya pag mag-retire siya sa work so okay um this one I bought this from Vons. They are like thirteen dollars, and I like the colors. And at the same time, it's hanging, so I I bought this. Morning time, I baktas na mo ang Vons nga nabugto ang chinelas ni adding, and we we change our our sleep. Gisot na ko yung chinelas kay di siya kabaktas. We we were able to make it. Um. I have this thing. I put this at my front yard, but I think something is eating it. So now it's recovering. Um, 
take uh taking care of succulent is a little bit tricky so i'm learning i'm still a very new collector so um daghan pa kong mali na ginabuhat i sometimes i drown them they call it succulents have drinking problem if you put too much water they're gonna be also absorbing most of it and they're gonna rot at first mag yellow ilang dahon tapos mamatay uh, this is one of my favorite they're, they're purple so and this one also they're pink this is jelly they call it uh wait jelly bean uh this is aurora pink and this one is a manga v it is it's supposed to be bluish I have some few cactus here, but uh, I'm not so into it. Kay dali ra ko matunok niya akong bana po. May po niya bunitan. Niya mo ingon siya. They are biting me. So I choose to like have only this collection. Yes, for now, but I'm more into the succulents. Um Yeah. These are some of them. Um that one those are I have, we have this in the Philippines, Natay Ani. They call it Spanish moss here. Where do I buy my succulents? My first collection was from Home Depot, pero namatayan ko kay. Uh, they're not really uh, very particular with the quality. So I bought, I bought once and then, wala ko kabalong nga naga, naga, ano na siya sa sulod ka ng, nagalata na gani. So, I, I noticed it started to become yellow and then I realized I just bought it a few days and then suddenly nag-start nag siya kamatay. So I was thinking, yeah, the uh, Home Depot have good um, succulents but you have to be very careful when choosing them. Then I started buying from, I think my sec uh, my husband bring brings me to this Armstrong Gardens, Armstrong Garden something. I, I showed that on one of my video, my very first uh, visit, uh, my very first time to visit a certain garden here. They sell a very large variety of plants. They're, they're very nice, but a little bit um, expensive. Dito ko nakakita ang ang makahiya ginabaligya for $6. So, I'm so amazed by that. And then, I also buy from... Vons. I also buy from Ikea. I have some. And they have also the rare one. But most of my rare rarest are like this. Uh, this is they called Christmas Aloe. If you notice, it's green and red. Um, I don't know. There. Uh, the, in the front, it's really red because it has the sun. Um, I ordered them online for the rare one because... Um, uh, the one that they're selling on stores here are just very common. But if you really want rare ones, you need to do, find them online. But I have a limit. But if it's above $10, I don't really go for it. I usually just go for five, 4 or $5. And mo my most expensive one, I think, is $24 because my husband really wants it. So I just decided to buy it because we will put it in front of our, of our house. And I think, uh, for example, this this little would cost uh, uh, ten dollars, and in the Philippines, it's around five hundred pesos. So, um, little are also very difficult to find at stores. They they usually are just sold online, so that's why I have to do it online. And then, for very colorful chick, hen, chick, and chicks and Hen, you could not find also them at the store you just you really have to order them online i have one they call it mountain crest gardens sometimes i buy it itsy i don't know if you're familiar with that but some are, are, are familiar with itsy it's an online shop where everyone sells like small businesses they advertise there and you could just order through them um and then um where I'm forgetting some where I do forget. Uh, sometimes my husband goes at Home Depot, and then he would find some rare, colorful ones. He would bring home. So I'm, I'm fortunate to have a supportive husband who would also go with what I love. Uh, he noticed that 
when I arrived, I'm a little bit really honestly, I got a little bit depressed because it's so different. Wala kay makita niya tao, wala kay ma istorya through online lang, manawag ko sa Pilipinas, but dili man ko pwede manamok all the time sa kong family para lang mag online. So, he was like, okay, let's find the hobby for you. Pero, nagpalit ko cross stitch because I'm so into it when I was in high school. Unfortunately, my eyes is na as, not as like kanang murag mas na okay. I'll, I did not continue it. I have still three in there that needs to be done. But, um, I was like, okay. I really wanted to go into plants. I'm an agriculture graduate. And the most common here, it's so easy to grow according to him, is rose, uh, bougainvillea, and um, they, they have a name for San Francisco here. So those are the very common. But if you notice, they are but they are kanang bushes so since our our house is has a small space i have to find something na dili siya mo occupy og dako at least makakolek og daghan so i was like okay let's just set aside i really want to start with roses but i can't continue i can't start with it since because of the space we're also doing our front yard so I could not just plant them there and or put them on a pot and put them there because it will require a lot of uh like a lot of um um management. So when my when I when I when I, we were there once in Home Depot, we went outside and I saw this very wide variety of succulents and, and cacti that are very colorful so i started my one of my very first cactus is this so i saw this already in the philippines and i know this is a little bit not so common so i bought one but this is not from home depot yun yung sabi ko na namatay this is from armstrong garden and this is the only one the only surviving i have two of this the other one is red i think pink the pink one died okay so those are my uh and then i bought some from from home depot but i could not really remember which is which now and then one of my rare collection for cactus is this they call it blue blue something but it's like because it's like bluish i don't know if the camera will be able to capture it's not green so uh these are the ones that i really treasure the, the, the colorful ones and then um i have snake plant here the smaller ones so i i i'm used to bigger snake plants in the philippines i have a lot so these are my snake plants here okay and then um i have this uh black prince they call because it's black i think it will bloom a flower uh, one of these days i don't know if you can see it it's uh, sorry it's not it's a dark moon the black prince is different from this okay so those are like uh i'm a member of world of succulents thank you to joan subaan for adding me there for so my husband always would say uh educate yourself more it's really like that he's very uh he reads a lot if, if he wants something so he bought me two books from amazon about succulents and i've learned a lot plus i'm a member of this certain group that says this is a no no this is a yes i don't know in the philippines if this um way of um this succulents will really have colors because once i talked to joanne and he, she said that sometimes they lost colors there once they arrive and i don't know if jensen's um climate also affect uh, but here in our place it's dry philippines is humid and um i don't water them if like every day i water them once their soil is already very very dry or sometimes their leaves become really curly so that's when at the time i knew that they need water because before i was so uh i took care of them so much and they started to die 